I'm Leo, and sugar from Amethyst Rose to Road coming through to give you guys an energy check in. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, all right? We're going to see what is the most important for you at this time, Leo. Um, when you see this is when you're meant to see it. If you need to refer back to it later, please do. Um, please only take what resonates. This is a collective reading. Every message will not be for you, but this will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, all right? Um, also, Leo, if you are interested in the Amethyst Rose Bracelet, um, it's Amethyst Rose Quartz, Clear Quartz, and Black Obsidian, all right? So great for heightening the intuition, feeling the love, getting the clarity that you need, and um, blocking negative energy, okay? It absorbs negative energy as well, all right? They will come uh, cleansed and charged, and I make them myself. If you're interested, they are 12 bucks, all right? So just send me an email, and I'll send you an invoice, all right? All right, Spirit. This is for Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. What messages do you have for them at this time? What does Leo need to be aware of? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the messages for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Block any interference that stops their message from coming through. Butterflies by Queen Naja is on right now. All right, let's see. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. I'm going to get an oracle for the overall energy or messages. Leo. Okay, nope. Way too many. Just seeing, this is Watchers, Transpersonal, 60. The number six could be significant. All right. Leo. Two came out. We're going to take them anyway. Um, we got Benefactor, Grace, and Generosity. All right. And number three. All right, Leo. And then you have uh, 40, uh, Mindful, Groupthink. All right. So the number four could be significant as well. Bottom of the deck, we got Straddling Worlds. Aries got this yesterday. Um, wondering Between Realms. All right, so let's get into it and see what the message is. Yeah, the number four, the number three, the number 52 could be significant. Um, the number four and the number seven could be significant to you as well, Leo, okay? So let's get into it and see what the message is. This is for Leo. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and the north node. What is the message? Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. I actually think you did come up in the Aries reading yesterday, Leo. So go watch it if you have not already. All right, if you're new here. Thank you for all the, um, the thumbs up, the subscribes, any donations, anything like that. Those who have booked personal readings with me, thank you. You know, I enjoy doing them for you guys. All right, those who have bought bracelets, thank you. The bracelets are doing very well. All right, let's get into it. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. This looks blurry. Give me a second, Leo. It's bothering me. I'm not OCD, just a little OCD ish. I don't know if that helps. Looks like it did. I mean, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it looks a little better. <laughs> All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestor Spirit, guys. Those are my highest white light. What we got for Leo? Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the messages for Leo. Let's get into it, Leo. See what's going on with y'all. Don't by Bryson Tiller is on. Let's go. What's going on? What messages you got for Leo? Leo, the sun, period. Okay, yes, Leo, you got the sun. First card out, your energy. Yes, three of wands. Listen, so you already know. Somebody already knows what's to come. Somebody knows that somebody may be a benefactor to something. Something is benefiting someone, okay? Yeah, somebody's happy here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. 
You got the nine of swords. Somebody could be having some anxiety, sleepless nights. But you got the ten of cups. What you scared of, Leo? There could be someone in your family that, you know, that this could be the way they're feeling or something like that. Or family member. Tell me more. Yeah, but somebody's stressed, worried, or anxious about something. All right. What's this for Leo? Judgment. All right. So making a final decision, final call on something. Four of Cups. I'm really thinking that um, after some all is said and done here, that, yeah, somebody's going to be not so happy. Somebody may be experiencing loss here or rejection. Somebody is going to reject somebody here. Somebody could be nervous about this decision that's having to be made here in regards to their happiness. Yeah. But somebody, there could be stressing a word about missing an opportunity here. Tell me more. What's this for Leo? Somebody's mind is full. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more. This is for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and the north node. Strength card. Leo, you are showing up strong in your energy right now. Yeah, that that's... Oh, wow. Okay. Be courageous is what I just heard. You got the temperance card. Yeah, it speaks of divine time and Sagittarius energy. King of Wands. Leo, you are just biting heads off here. Seven of Swords. Okay. So there could be some deceit somewhere. Somebody could be lying about something, cheating here. Death card, Scorpio energy here. Speaks of um, death and rebirth, transformation. Uh, you got the devil here. Wow, Leo, what in the world? Capricorn energy. So it could be something that could be a little low vibrational here. Um, yeah, somebody is, uh, this could be fear though. I'm getting that somebody has fear here with the devil card and the nine of swords and judgment. Somebody is just fearful about making a final call on something, a final decision on something. But something does have, something has to die here for something else to live. I'm getting that with the death card and the sun here. You will have to transform something about your situation. It's time to with the stream card and the temperance um, for you to let something die. Okay, Leo, you have to let something die. Whether That could be your ego. This could be death of the ego here. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, in order for you to be happy here. So you have to sacrifice something. Yes, you have to sacrifice something. And it's looking like, Leo, it's looking like you may be trying to get around, like have your cake and, you know, get around doing something, making this choice, making this final, choosing just one path here. It looks like you're trying to get around that. But you're going to have to let something go. You're going to have to re reject something else. Resist the devil is what I'm hearing. Four of Cups with the devil card. You're going to have to do something else. You're going to have to completely pave a new way here. Yeah, and it's looking like you're trying to get around making it whatever this decision is. Or transforming or something. But you have divine intervention here, okay? Judgment with the temperance here. Let's see what else comes out. Yeah, it looks like something is inevitable now. Yeah, straddling, wandering between realms, straddling worlds. Somebody is double life. Yeah, somebody is trying to have their cake and eat it too here. Yeah, let's see. What is this for Leo? None of your concern by Janae Aiko is on. What is this for Leo? Thank you. Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity. When I say this has truth and clarity, the Ace of Swords has come out in every reading I've done today. All right. Like some things are being made clear with the Knight of Wands. Yeah. So there could be something in regards to some passion here. You may need to cut something out, cut someone off here, something out here. There's definitely something because something is a burden. Yeah, Leo, something is a burden to you. It's time for you to rest now. 
And I'm getting that you, you're using a lot of your energy, your strength to kind of keep whatever this is in rotation or whatever. All right. But it looks like some deception could be coming to light here. Some kind of lies or something like that. Yes, yeah, could be some cheating here. Yeah, but let's see. We're going to see what it is here. So we got you, Leo. Um, we got the Capricorn energy, uh, Sagittarius energy. If that is not the same. Okay, with Scorpio energy. Let's see. It's kind of, yeah, let's see. We're going to get into the message and see what this is for you, Leo. All right, can I get can I get why the sun is here, please? It says grace and generosity and group think, okay? The sun. What is this for Leo? The emperor. Something can have something to do with an Aries. I really would love for you all to go watch the Aries reading if you resonate with any other parts in this reading okay um like i said they got that same card yesterday um for some of you there could be an aries it's kind of been some time now yeah seven of pentacles seven of swords 77 could be significant here um karma is coming yeah there's something that could have happened uh seven of pentacles speaks of investment of time money and energy here so but it looks like somebody makes somebody happy here yeah um let's see can i Something can have something to do with somebody's baby father here with the emperor showing up as somebody's father. Um, what's the uh, the son, please? The son and the emperor. Can I get one more? The son and the emperor. Ten of wands. Yeah, so it looks like, Leo, you may be burdened by something. You got the six of wands here. Lots of fire here. I'm telling you, this is the same way it came out. Something is a burden here. All right? There could be something in regards to a Scorpio here. So, but anyway, yeah, but it looks like something may be coming to the to coming to light here. Somebody is just bombarded with responsibilities here. Yeah, so that's something that you you probably are trying to take control of, or you need to, the messages you need to control whatever this is. You got a lot of responsibilities here, or. Or something like that. If you're a father, that could be what it is. Just responsibilities of being a dad here. But it looks like somebody needs to go within. Because somebody is stressed and worried about something. What's the message in regards to the Nine of Swords? It's like somebody is scared to transform. Or what's the Nine of Swords? Or change the situation? Seven of Wands. Yeah, somebody has their guard up against whatever this is. Yeah, but you're protected, Leo. Yeah, there's nothing to fear. The magician, you are the magician here. Um, now, somebody could have a, um, a Taurus block here. And that person could be stressing out, bugging out or whatever. That, that could be a message here for somebody as well. Why is judgment here? Judgment. This is for Leo. Someone rising in the North Node. The Tower. <sighs> divine intervention. <laughs> Clarified by divine intervention. Yes, with the high priestess. So I'm getting, um, you could be getting this from somebody, uh, a psychic, Leo, whatever this is. Something could have something to do with a Pisces here. Um, whatever this judgment is, I'm getting that this could be shocking for somebody. Um, somebody's wife could be a Pisces. You got the hierophant here. Yeah, speaks of marriage. Something in regards to a, a, a Piscean wife here. Could be for somebody because we do have the emperor out here. So I could be talking to a masculine in regards to that. Can I get one more please for judgment in the tower? What is this? What does Leo need to be aware of? Why is the tower here with judgment? Somebody definitely has Scorpio highly aspected. Death card in the tower out here. Judgment in the tower, please. Four of Cups. Yeah. Somebody is getting rejected here. Something can have something to do with this uh, Leo U, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Once again, a feminine. 
Um, and then the devil card. Okay, so Capricorn energy. Yeah, there's a decision here. That somebody has to make up their mind. Somebody has to make a final call on, on something. Somebody has to loose something. Let something go. What's the four cups? What's the message? Four cups. The star card. All right, so the star card could speak of hope and wishing. You got the six of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So something could have happened in the past. Somebody could be thinking back. Okay, so something, whatever happened, could be in regards to um, an Aquarius. Uh, an Aquarius could be significant here. But it's looking like with the, four, with the four of cups being here with the star card, is somebody has like an image. Um, and somebody's gonna have to like not care about that image. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, because they are the judgment just it just won't won't go away. Um, somebody's gonna have to make their mind up because somebody is about to miss an opportunity here with a past life soulmate, possibly is what this is giving me. All right, or this just could be you're you're about to lose an opportunity in regards to your boat. Your boat is about to sail here. All right. So, but somebody is going back and forth, straddling world. Somebody is straddling. Somebody's on the fence. You have to make your mind up, Leo. You have to make your mind up. There's no way around whatever this is. All right. What's the strength card for Leo? Somebody is avoiding this. King of Cups. Once again, um, Scorpionic energy. Scorpio is out here. Uh, could be a Pisces. Could be a Cancer. Uh, masculine that's significant um, or it could just be you Leo but yeah something has something to do with uh, work or money or something like that third party situation yeah five of wands competition yeah so this could be somebody just trying to hold on to something hold on to a job hold on to some money hold on to two people three people whatever somebody is burdening themselves by not making their mind up can I get one more for the strength card the king of cups this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. What's the message? What does Leo need to know, Spirit? Strength, King of Cups. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. There's a new beginning here, Leo. There's a new beginning here for you in regards to your abundance, your generational wealth, your family. There's something new here, but this has to transform. Okay? Eight of Wands. And something is going to happen fast. Okay? So be aware, something is happening fast. Spiral is what I heard. Um, temperance, please, for Leo. There's a new opportunity here, Leo. This is your opportunity, your golden opportunity, your grace and generosity. Temperance. Temperance speaks of timing. Okay? Divine timing. So it's time for something. Temperance. Five of Pentacles, yeah. You either need to leave somebody out in the cold or they're going to leave you out in the cold. But it's it's divine intervention, so it's meant to happen. It's going to happen. In divine time, it's going to happen. Yeah, it's time for you to leave you out in the cold with the death card here and the three of... Yeah, the Five of Pentacles, the death card, and the Three of Swords. Whatever this is may hurt, Leo. I'm getting that somebody needs to transform here. It's time for somebody to make a change. Something has to change. Something has to give, Leo. Okay? And you don't want to be blindsided by what this is because the tower is happening. Judgment. Final call. Last call for alcohol. All aboard. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. I'm telling you, whatever this is, snappy. Get with it. Take advantage of this opportunity is what this is giving me. You may have to leave a Sagitt uh, Sagittarius out in the cold, okay? Or they may be leaving you out in the cold. You're cheating yourself is what I'm getting here with the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords. What's the Death card? Why is the Death card here for Leo? Nine of Pentacles, yeah. 
The nine of pentacles speaks of someone who's single. So somebody is going back and forth in their head over and over again on whether they want to be single or not. Will I be happier single? How is this going to work if I'm single? What am I going to do single? You know what I'm saying? It's, somebody could actually be looking at things online. Maybe somebody could be... Um, somebody actually could be looking at... Um, residences online moving somebody could be moving here yeah so you may be or maybe that's the message let's get another one please death card and the nine of pentacles maybe there's something maybe it's on something online waiting for you leo maybe look online if you know you've been kind of procrastinating on something why is the um, nine of pentacles here with a death card for leo what's the message Death card and the nine of pentacles. What is this? Oh my goodness. Death card and the nine of pentacles for Leo. <laughs> Queen of pentacles. Yeah. It's looking like somebody either needs to change. Somebody. Okay. It's happening either way. It's destined to happen. It's going to happen. Um, I'm getting that somebody needs to cut something out here. Okay? Somebody needs to speak some truth. Something has... There has to either be a conversation to happen or a change to happen. Because um, it's looking like with the death card being here with the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, there's either somebody that's going from single to married or married to single. Or that is what is being called to happen here or is going to happen. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. This speaks of destiny. Okay? Fated events that will happen. They're ha it's happening regardless. Okay? Because something is too much of a burden. Alright? It looks like somebody wants to be happy here. It looks like somebody is, somebody is trying to keep a family dynamic together here. Somebody is trying to show up and, and seem and look a certain kind of way. Somebody wants to be a great mom or dad or husband or wife and somebody cares about an image here it's all about ego ego is what's keeping somebody in this in this place yeah you might just with this divine time and being here and somebody missing their mark somebody may not have a place to live like if you don't act on whatever this is um can i get one for the devil please for um leo why is the devil here for leo please and thank you spirit the devil Why is the devil here for Leo? Capricorn energy. Why is the devil here? Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. All right. So there could be a Capricorn that wants to give you something. Give you a handout of some sort. Or there's somebody that has a nugget for you. Yeah. I'm, somebody is giving you something. Yeah, it's like the divine is trying to gift you with something, but you're attached to something else. Something else is enticing you. Somebody could be attached to somebody for money here. Um, somebody could have cancer, highly aspected. But it's, it's looking like it's time. The, the, the chariot speaks of forward movement. Yeah, like something is on go here. Somebody needs to go with the eight of cups here. Can I get another one for the devil and the ace of pentacles? What's the message? The devil and the ace of pentacles. Leo. King of swords. Yeah. Uh-uh. Some It's time for somebody to cut something out here. You got to cut something out. Lay your weapons down, Leo. Um, you may need to pray. Somebody could actually have like a, some kind of attachment or somebody could be... Mm, I don't know what's going on here, Leo, but you got to get this together. You have got to get this together. King of Swords is my God card. You need to pray. You need to pray about whatever this is. King of Swords, Four of Swords. Yeah, you need to go into isolation. Think about this. 
Yeah. Because I'm getting that somebody is just... What's the Ace of Swords? Denying the truth. Somebody's in denial. What's the Ace of Swords here for Leo? That could be this. That could be this person. You may need to tell this person something. Could be a Capricorn. Ace of Swords, please. This is for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. Please and thank you, Spirit. Ace of Cups. Wow. Divine love in the Sun. So you see your happiness. You can see it. You, you can. You can see it. Somebody could be in love here. Leo, you can see your happiness. You love someone. The hermit, yeah. I'm getting that you need to go with the end, Leo. Yeah, I'm. Uh, Ace of Cups could speak of self love. I'm really getting that somebody is sabotaging and cheating themselves here. Somebody doesn't have the confidence um, in Leo because that, that does not, this doesn't seem like your energy here. So flip, flop it, turn it, reverse it. But you are out here. You came out strong. Okay. I mean, anything that could represent Leo is out here. All right. And we, or we've seen it multiple times, but you have an opportunity here. And your boat is sailing, your train is riding off, the car is moving, and you, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. All four aces are out here. The number four is significant. Who got that? A Gemini. Somebody could have Gemini highly aspected. So you can go watch the Gemini or the Aries reading. This could be messages in both of them for you. Yeah. What's the Seven of Swords about for Leo? Seven of Swords for Leo. Please and thank you. Five of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Somebody could be lying on you, lying to you. This could be work-related. The number eight could be significant. Eight of wands, eight of pentacles. The number 88 could be significant. Somebody is lying. Somebody is deceiving you. Yeah, this person could not love themselves. Or this person could know that you don't love them. Or you could know that this person doesn't love you. Yeah. Um... Leo, because this reading has went this way, I'm going to get a Divine Abundance card for you. I hadn't pulled it for anyone else, but I feel the need to get a Divine Abundance card for you before we wrap you up. Yeah, I said it by Rihanna. Okay, then. Um, Yeah. Let's... Woo! So somebody could be saying something, and it could be harsh. Somebody could be cussing you up and down here. Um... Somebody could, okay, thank you, Spirit. Somebody could be um, just kind of, anyway, somebody could be talking to whoever will listen. Let me put it like that, Leo. And we, let's get a divine, divine abundance card, please, for Leo. Benefactor. This puts me in the mind of um, a beneficiary. So this could actually be somebody that you're married to, Leo. Or somebody that has a policy on you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. Something to think about here, okay? Once again, the numbers are 4, 3, 40, um, 52, and 7. Okay? Let's see. Divine Abundance card, please, for Leo. What can I use so we can wrap them up? Please and thank you, Spirit. Leo, I'm not. Who are doing? Leo, I thought so. Goodness, great. Oh. <laughs> Karma. 
There's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. Divine intervention is all over this. Okay. So just be aware, Leo. Receiving. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. So go with the end. Okay. All right, Leo, that is your message. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. The song that's coming on now is Focus by Her. All right. There you go. Bye, Leo.